Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use this body kun model to study figures. So as you can see right there, I have the figure right there in my hand. It's an excellent tool. Uh, it comes uh, with a pair of like uh, a, a male figure and a female figure. This is the male version. It's excellent to use for the artist. One of the things you're gonna have to do is to definitely practice the figure, study the figure regularly. So the way I do it is to use uh, this model. Very nice way for any artist to practice, okay? So as you can see, this one is very flexible. You can uh, bend it, the hands bend up and down. You can bend them at the four hands. The legs are very, as you can see, they're very flexible, very, very good. You can set them up in different postures, running, actually very complicated postures. It's a very detailed way of like being able to set it up in itself is quite as difficult. Uh, I, I mean, quite a long study for you to, you could spend hours sitting and trying to set this in many different ways so it's a very very excellent tool that allows you to really uh, make complicated uh, postures okay and you can make some excellent illustrations out of it and uh, so i'm going to say it's a very good tool and i'm going to show you right now how to use it how i use it and it's basically i use it to study figures and which can later be developed into completely finished products. So I totally recommend it. See the hands bend all the way up, the head turns all the way around, the torso is uh, detachable, everything is detachable and refixable. It comes with a whole set of uh, hands that have different pos postures, closed fists, um, open hands so they can always be the hands can be pulled off and put back in okay and they also can stand on their own they stand on their feet as you can as you can see you can just set them up in the posture and then leave them alone and the guy just stands there on his own okay so very very good model i find it to be uh well done and uh, depending on the way you set up this model you can come up with very complicated illustrations and setups, okay? But in this particular video, I'm going to show you how I use it to study. So it's going to be a simple study. It's not by in any way a finished product, but just a simple study. So this is the female version of it. As you can see, the female, and it comes with the stand as well, so you can t take it off the stand and make it actually stand by itself on the, s on the table. Or you could hook it up to a stand for more complicated postures, such as flying in the air or a running posture where the, both the legs are off the ground. So you can use the stand to actually do that. So here is the model. And... Let me begin. I'm going to show you right now how I use it to study, okay? Thank you for tuning in, guys. So here I'm actually beginning to study the model that I set up. And there's the picture that I have for you to be able to see what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at exactly what that little uh, corner picture that I'm showing. So here I'm laying out basically the... Uh, try to, I try to see it like in terms of like looking at it through a, a prism or sort of like a cube, you know. So I'm setting up all these dimensions first. And uh, working from those basic dimensions and taking up there. Now it's very complicated. It's not easy even though this, uh, it looks like a simple standing figure because there's a lot of foreshortening. And uh, you must be able to get those uh those uh the gesture correct so for example the way the feet is landing on the, on the ground right the way the feet is 
the way he's standing, the way the feet rests right there when I'm trying, it's quite a struggle, you know. I'm trying to get those, uh, that particular gesture. So it's, it, it makes for a very complicated study, actually, which is not really easy uh, because it takes a while. I'm actually speeding it up here for about three times faster. So, however, so it goes about three times slower than it's going right now. However, as you can see, those particular full shortening lines, those lines where you see that, uh, uh, and, and, and you know, the perspective, looking, the figure, I'm looking down, my eye level is about the, fo about the forehead. So I'm like kind of looking down at the figure. So I have to be make, making sure that I'm getting all these different uh, contours and those contour lines correct to be able to make my final impression of being able to have a figure standing in a certain posture, right? So it's extremely important to get those contour lines correct. As you can see, I'm struggling with this right here. And, uh, and that's my, my goal, is to get those contours, to show the full shortening, to be able to show that I'm able to uh, you know, those bends, you know, when you look from a bow and then you see that the feet are full shortening downward and the way the feet are standing on the ground, these are very important in a figure. You see how those feet are resting on the ground steadily, making the figure stand on the feet. So these are very important uh, things that I look at when I'm constructing this figure. Once again, I'm only studying it. It's only a study of a figure. Uh, which I may later use for an illustration or something, but uh, uh, basically it's just what I'm uh, coming up with. I want to be able to get comfortable with getting a stance, you know, get the stand correct, the way you see how that feet is resting on the ground, the way the guy's, the hips are, are, are right. Those are the very important things that I try to get right. So there I'm coming to uh, the end of this particular study right there because you see as you can see that particular gesture, the stands, the way the guy is standing on his feet and that is where I want to be able to uh, leave it right there. So there's my study guys and as you can see, you know, it's an excellent way for me to like think about gesture and posture and uh, work from there so I, I thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this so keep tuned I'm going to be doing some live shows from New York City so stay tuned for that